fall of 2014, we were invited by Bloomberg Philanthropies to submit public art proposals. Bloomberg wanted to help cities showcase their urban identities, who they are. And I was so proud to see and to be able to say that Los Angeles is one of those four cities. The last couple months have been a flurry of activity. Logistics, schematics, security plans, communication plans. It has been all hands on deck. We wanted to create an opportunity for artists to respond to a critical issue facing Los Angeles, and the one that rose to the top was water. We're in the fourth or fifth year of a very um, significant drought, and it was important for us to begin thinking about how can public art tap into the civic issues that are affecting our city. There are 15 sites, 13 artists. We're finally open, and the way in which the artist cohorts have responded to this topic has exceeded our expectations above and beyond. This piece is about the water under the bridge, the Los Angeles Aquifer. So it's in a sense a landscape portrait. It's a descent from 10 feet to 1400 feet below the surface of the earth. So my sculpture located behind us is a triumphal arch. What this sculpture then frames is the port of Los Angeles and Long Beach where 40% of the goods come into the United States. If you come to the bow tie, you're gonna see eight gardens of drought-resistant California native plants. We're giving out blueprints so people can have their own garden of water-saving California natives. The total calculations are about three million gallons per year. That is what the project can offer in terms of water savings. Now, you know, in California, because of the drought, there's a lot of conflict. And I wanted to figure out a way of talking about conflict in relationship to water. I attributed two sculptures to Kern LA, and they're entitled The Center of the Earth. It's nice to know that there's these little nodes that are creating this spider web across LA, and to get to be a part of that is pretty exciting. Rear Crit Terra Venetia's piece is a wooden pavilion over a creek, which is part of the Los Angeles River. And so it gives us an opportunity to bring people to explore nature, to explore artwork, and to build a relationship with our environment. I mean, it feels like a great privilege to be able to encounter a public that I kind of encounter on a regular basis anyway. The project that I'm doing for Current LA is called Exquisite Corpse. It's a 51-minute film that traces the 51-mile Los Angeles River from its origins in the San Fernando Valley to where it meets the ocean uh, in Long Beach. It's pretty mesmerizing. I mean, people really kind of relaxed and were hanging out on the railing. Art can lure people in to think about something and make people kind of question their own preconceived notions about something. I don't think you could ever have enough awareness. It feels great to be supported by Bloomberg Philanthropies in addition to the monetary resources. They've really helped position us to succeed in this. This idea of current is also about place is about sight. How can we use art as that vehicle? How can we engage a conversation to build greater value around our natural resources, our public spaces, and our human connections? And I think now more than ever, we really need that.